Hey everybody, Sun Twisted. Welcome to PC Central. It's bringing you part two of the model Medal of Honor beta gameplay. I'm actually playing on the second map and doing the objective gameplay. On um, in this gameplay as opposed to the other one, if you're playing as the Coalition, your objective is to take all these points that are in yellow, the yellow squares, the triangles, whatever you want to call them. And there are four of them you have to take, three of them you have to set C4 on and keep the enemy from defusing, and one of them you just have to hold the position until for a certain amount of time until you've taken it. If you're playing as the Taliban, obviously your the point of your uh, your point of the game is to keep the coalition from setting the C4 and from taking the locations. And um yeah, just looking at it here, it seems like this map actually does look a little bit better than the other one as far as, you know, coloring and and graphics. It seems like they probably spent a little bit more time on this one than than the one for the squad assault. And um as far as the, the freezing issues, DICE did state that they corrected the freezing issue when you die and it just they, they fixed it at their end and it needs to trickle down. I don't know if that means the servers need to replicate to each other for the for the fix to take place. But it still it still seems like you're freezing when you die, so that hasn't been corrected on our end yet. And as far as the game crashing itself, um, a couple of people have posted online, they've, they've discovered what's causing it. If you can see in the right corner of the screen, um, when you start the game, you'll see 0 or 40. There are actually killstreak rewards in this game. If you hit 40 points, that's your first kill streak. Then I think the next one is 90 and then 120. If you're playing as the Taliban, whenever you hit that 40 point kill streak, that's what causes the game to crash. If you're playing as the Coalition, you can just keep getting your kill streaks, won't have any problems. So the workaround that people have found, and I've been using it, and it actually seems to be working. If you get about 30 points, 35 points, hit the start button and then select respawn, which will basically is like suiciding yourself. So your your points will set reset back to zero, but the game won't crash, and you can just continue keep playing through the game. So as the Taliban, you don't get to use your kill streak rewards, but at least it doesn't crash the system and you can continue playing through the whole match of the game as again as coalition you don't have to worry about that you can just get your kill streak rewards and use them as you'll see I get I get my kill streak a couple of times in here which is um a mortar strike and the game doesn't crash at all so hopefully that helps you know some of you out so you can actually get through a full game without having to hard reset your system and having the system crash and again as, as you play through this more this game becomes it's more and more enjoyable as I stated that you know it is a lot of fun the only thing that's really messing up this beta for me right now is the freezing and the crashing so being that we found a workaround to the crashing if they could just fix the freezing and also for me the hit detection on the weapons because it still feels like you're not getting proper feedback as to when you're taking damage from a guy just shooting at you but those minor things that they fixed right now would make this beta right now, you know, almost perfect for me. Like I said, it's, even with these things, I'm still having a lot of fun playing it, putting a couple of hours on it. It is still very enjoyable. Um, yeah, it does. Like again, it is reminiscent of Bad Company, but it doesn't play like Bad Company at all. The movement, the feedback from the weapons, the the way you shoot, the way the guns even look. The way to reload animates. The only thing that looks bit like Bad Company is basically the landscape. But everything else, it feels unique. And as I stated, hopefully when when the final product comes out, it will be a lot more akin to what we saw at E3. And the game will come on, come into its own and stand alone as, as its own shooter. And not have to be compared to Modern Warfare or Bad Company anymore. But, yeah, I still, I still feel... The coalition's weapons are a little bit more powerful than than the Taliban, but you can still make it happen as the Taliban as well. And um, some people online stating that they notice whenever they play this, the coalition always wins. And someone stated possibly that might be because you can't get the kill streaks in this. And once you get to that point, you basically have to suicide if you mess up and for whatever reason 
you get the kill streak. All the good players who are the ones racking up the kill streaks end up having to leave the game because their system is crashing, and then you're left with the shitty players. And that's why your <laughs> it seems like the Taliban never wins, which kind of makes sense. Um, just for some information, an assist kill is five points. A regular kill is 10 points. If you get a headshot, it's 15. And I think if you get a headshot while saving a teammate, you get 20. So just put that out there so you know what you know what the points are. So when you're playing, you can you can assess how close you are to hitting that 40. So you don't accidentally go over it and crash your system and have to leave the game and hard reboot and start all over again. But yeah, this game I see yeah a lot of potential in this. I I, I really expect when the final product comes out, it's gonna be something very unique, very enjoyable. Because like I said, even with the problems that the beta has right now, I'm still having fun playing this and getting in here and you know. Don't know which which mode I prefer. Pro I think I prefer this mode better than the other mode. Well, I think I like the other map better. I like this mode better because it seems like you know again it's not just running around shooting people. It actually is an objective and even though we can't communicate because the the mic just doesn't work I put my headset on and you know through a whole like 15 minute match I think I got like you know sporadically like 30 seconds of being able to hear the other people but then they couldn't hear me so we couldn't even talk to each other so the, the sound just is just a complete completely just doesn't work at all but even without the sound, it seems like when you're playing this mode, your team still plays kind of like a team. Like everybody rushes the objective. You know, when we're in a room, you take one door, the other guy positions himself at the other door as if he knows, okay, he got that, I'm going to take this. So it does feel like there, there is some teamwork going on in this mode. Whereas the, the assault mode, it seems like everybody just running around, just running and gunning and not really caring about where their teammates are and just trying to get as many kills as they can but like I said this game has a lot a lot of potential to be really you know really good so I know a lot of people are disgusted right now for the fact that they feel this looks too much like bad company and they feel like they're just playing another bad company clone and why do I want to do that and the game glitches and this that and the third as I stated you saw what I saw at E3 so obviously they have progressed this game beyond the point of what we're playing in the beta and what it was at E3 doesn't look anything like what's in the beta nor does it look or play anything like bad company so I'm very confident again that the finished product will be something worth playing you know again this is just a beta it's just here to test bugs and glitches I doubt this is going to be, you know, what the final product is going to be. I mean, I felt the same way about the Bad Company beta. I hated it. I felt it was garbage. It was disgusting. And then when the demo came out, it was just complete breath of fresh air. Fell in love with the demo. Bought the game. Loved the game. So, real, real, uh, really looking forward to see what the finished product of Medal of Honor is looking like. And um, that's all. That's all I had to say about that. Just wanted to show you guys the other map, as I promised. Let you see some of the gameplay. Um, I know I haven't showed any gameplay of the the Taliban. I've been coalition the whole time, but again, it's just I feel like their weapons are a little bit underpowered compared to the coalition, and it just seems like even when you're when your shots are on point, you're still not getting the kills. So. Decided to put up the coalition again and you know just show some different things. Got red dot sight, got um armor pissing rounds unlocked and just basically showing you the map. So I'm about to come to the end of this video. I'll just let you finish, you know, let it play out, let you finish enjoying that. Hope you enjoyed watching. Hope those tips, you know, help some of you guys out. Rate, comment, subscribe. Sun twisted for PC Central, I'm out. One.